Tesla haters in Europe, they've united to attack Tesla. They've incinerated at least 15 different Tesla electric cars, not owned by Tesla, just owned by private citizens in Germany. They've attacked the factory on numerous times. They've set fire to the factory. Uh, they have set up all kinds of attempts to thwart Tesla. They've even been able to attack the power station that basically powers Tesla's factory, shut it down, and Tesla had to shut down their factory for, I believe, a week. Now these so-called eco-warriors, which they say they are, not only are they calling for people all around the world to set fire to Teslas, doesn't matter if Tesla owns them, it's just who cares, set fire to Teslas, they're saying that um, they want the dismantling of Gigafactory Berlin to expropriate, strike, and loot. So they're calling for people to strike and to loot Tesla's factory in Germany. If they can't burn it down, then um, we'll do the next best thing. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Really, you know, sad to see this. About as sad as the news I got today. Well, not quite really, to be honest. This is a lot worse than the news I got today. But today... <laughs> I went and saw a foot surgeon when I had my bike injury, crashed while I was um, run into. Anyway, I've hurt my ankle and my foot. And I got actually, I was told at the hospital, uh, the x-rays were clear, uh, go home. And uh, anyway, it turns out that I have three breaks, three fractures in my foot, and I have what's called a Liz Frank injury. Apparently it's the worst injury that you can do. So I'll be heading for surgery on Wednesday next week. I'm not allowed to walk at all. I have to keep my leg up for two weeks straight. That's going to be, it's going to be an interesting challenge. I don't know how I'm going to keep myself from um, going insane. Anyhow, over the weekend, Tesla protesters and supporters held events. Um, basically, um, some were for the Tesla factory, some were against it. Now, if you have a look at some of the messaging from these so-called Tesla protesters, uh, eco-warriors, or whatever you want to call them, there's some cr pretty crazy stuff. Now, they've admitted responsibility for an arson attack on a power. Basically, that the the power, the, they found out where the, the section of wiring was that supplies Tesla's factory, and they've attacked that pylon and they've brought it down and it's, you know, prevented Tesla from any power from about a week, which I believe Tesla say has cost them nearly a billion dollars. Tesla employees, though, at Giga Berlin took a stand, says Teslarati, against the company's um, critics against the people who are trying to sabotage Tesla. Gathering around Gear Factory Berlin with lights in their hands, the Tesla employees pledged to stand strong and come back from the alleged arson stronger than before. This is their jobs, it's their livelihood, and they're doing whatever they can to protect it. Tesla critics organized the protest against Tesla on Sunday, and they rallied with a lot of kind of insane messages. A report from BZ, the anti-Tesla protesters said on Sunday there was about 800 of them. Now, the groups say that they are comprised of leftists, environmentalists, um, and masked anarchists. And they demanded that Tesla be stopped and Gigafactory Berlin be, a, be demolished. They're demanding it be demolished. Um, I don't really understand why is this Elon Musk? I mean, who do they hate? What do they hate? Uh, are they just bored? I don't know. They were wearing uh, Palestinian scarves. Not sure what that's got to do with the Tesla factory in Germany. Um, there was Antifa and Kurdistan flags. Um, some banners from the group said, don't demand fight, expropriate, strike, and loot. And yeah, like I said, um, the head of the group, some of them, the leaders of the head of the group, have called for people to set Tesla vehicles on fire everywhere. And someone in America did respond to that and did set two Tesla vehicles on fire in the United States. And, He's been caught um, from cameras who revealed who he was. Over a loudspeaker system powered by a diesel generator. Yeah, you can see where this is going, right? A diesel generator. Lou Winters, who is from the Tesla Den Haan Turn Off Tesla's Tap group, called for a gradual dismantling of the Tesla Model Y factory. Other discussions from the protesters included complaints about capitalism, colonialism, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Now, I personally believe that Probably a good chance a lot of them are afraid of change. A lot of them are afraid of electric cars. They're afraid of renewable energy. They're afraid of just something different. Maybe they work 
Maybe they build internal combustion engine vehicles. Maybe they work at coal power plants. Now, none of them are protesting the fact that there's an open cut coal mine, massive environmental scar on the landscape just down the road from this factory. They use 141 times more water than Tesla's factory. They don't care about that. It's just not in their interest at all. For some reason, they're focusing on Tesla. So I think that's what it is. It's their fear of change. Tesla supporters supported Tesla's presence in um, basically by organizing what you could say is a counter protest or to fight back against these guys. Now, unfortunately, the anti-Tesla protest was much larger than the pro Giga Berlin counter protest. Um, but those who attended the pro-Tesla event were almost all Grunheide residents. Now, apparently, the people who are protesting against Tesla's factory, they're from all over Europe. And a lot of them are just camping out in the local forest, um, setting up tents and homes there uh, because they don't have a house nearby. They don't live in the local area. Now, so far, criminal charges have actually been filed against some of the anti-Tesla protesters. Um, apparently, some of them were apprehended because they were masked and another reportedly gave a banned Hitler salute to a group of protesters. So Hitler salutes, um, yeah, I mean, apparently also some videos have emerged showing uh, these protesters attacking or trying to attack pro-Tesla staff or pro-Tesla people who are there um, hitting them with sticks and other objects. Some pretty violent people here. I'm going to guess some of them are probably drug users, probably like, you know, just people who um, really have no hope in life. Anyway, fortunately, um, I can say this because I doubt they're going to come to Australia, but you never know. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.